Being the brand ambassador entails going around to different parts of the country and uh, conducting training sessions with distributors about the brand. It's almost like a brand education program. <clears throat> it also means doing charity events throughout the country, and primarily in Kentucky, uh, to offer Four Roses up as an assistance for fundraising and so forth. And then answering uh, emails that come in about archival information and the history. And uh, then doing such strange and bizarre things as collecting stuff. And I've collected quite a bit of things in the last few years. One of them is that bottle that, that's featured in the book uh, about Prohibition. And it has a medicinal label on the back. And this guy called me from Sparks, Nevada one afternoon. He said, hey, he says, you want to buy a bottle of Prohibition era whiskey? And I said, well, yeah. He says, what do you give me for it? I said, I don't know. <laughs> he said, okay, well, you find out what the price is and call me back and we, maybe we can do business. So I called some friends and they said, this, you know, you make an offer, quick, whatever it is. So I called him back and I said, here's what I'm, I will pay you for. He says, double it. I said, okay. <laughs> so I doubled it and I, he said, well, I won't ship it to you now, I'll ship it to you after the holidays. That was, it was before Christmas when he called a few years ago. So. I thought, all right, I'll do this. So I went to my boss and said, I just spent a bunch of money to get this bottle of Prohibition Era whiskey. And so she said, okay, uh, what do we have to do? And I said, well, we get the check ready. When he comes, we'll ship him the check. A week goes by. I get a call from him again. He says, I can't wait till after the holidays. I'm afraid I'm going to knock it off my nightstand. <laughs> so I said, okay. He said, so I shipped it to you today. I said, I'll send the check out to you. So when I got it, it was a pint of Prohibition Era whiskey in a cardboard box that I'd never seen before. And both of those items are on display here at Four Roses. But what was really neat was on the back was the prescription. <laughs> and it says, take two ounces in hot water. But it doesn't say how often. <laughs> so consequently, we got that, we got the box and everything else based on a phone call. And we've got a whole lot of other stuff as well that kind of traces the development of the point of sale stuff that was available year after year after year. So for me that's been one of the joys is being able to collect that stuff and turn it into an archive unit that's very helpful. We've got ads that go all the way back to the Prohibition and beyond. Uh, we have um, different bottles and so forth that kind of show our rise. You know Four Roses labels at one time uh, had the Four Roses pointing down in one direction. That was before uh, the Great Depression. And the company decided that maybe we should change things around and give people hope. So they come out with a rose called Better Times <laughs> and they pointed the roses in a di different direction, in an upward stance, so that it kind of gave people hope and gave them some idea that Four Roses Bourbon cared. So it's been a kind of fun to, to be able to research and look into some of those things.